What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome to a multi-part series. All of these videos in the series are stuck together in one complete full guide, which you'll find linked in the description down below, as well as the other episodes that I've split it up into. This whole mini series shows you how to install and set up key paths for Windows and Android, get them to sync together using SyncThing, as well as set up autofill on your Android phone and your desktop using Chrome, Firefox, and other browsers. If you're interested, check the description down below. This video in particular shows you how to set up KeyPass Browser to get browser integration with the KeyPass program, meaning you no longer need to copy and paste passwords in. And of course, once you have this set up, you'll also be able to use it for two-factor authentication to get it to automatically fill in two-factor codes that it generates in the program. Though I won't be covering that in this video, you'll find another video linked down below. Opening up Twitch and clicking Login in the top right, you can see there's absolutely no autofill here. Let's head across to KeyPass. Of course, we can copy and paste usernames and passwords in from here. So for now, I think I'll search for it, right click it, perform auto type. It'll fill in my username and password. And then I'll be able to click login, which it does automatically for me. Cool. But what about integration? Well, that's where the KeyPass extension comes in, also developed by the same developers. Heading across to the Chrome Web Store, where you can get this extension, as well as the Firefox Store over here, and the source code over here, all linked down below. I'll go ahead and add it to Chrome. Add extension. Now that I've done this, I'll click it to go ahead and configure it, to which you can see it can't connect. Check that browser integration is enabled in KeyPass XC. I'll open up KeyPass XC, click the settings wheel at the top, head across to browser integration, and enable it here for which you'll also find links here. I'll enable it for Chrome, and I'll leave everything down here as is. I'll click OK, and click on the extension once again, then reload. Upon doing so, closing and reopening the plugin, you now see a connect button. Clicking it, you're given this here. You've received an association request for the following database passwords. Give the connection a unique ID or name, for example, Chrome laptop. I'll call this, say, just Chrome. Save and allow access. Upon doing so, Clicking on the extension once again, you can see it's now set up properly. We can check the settings window over here to customize it further. I would assume you can link this between devices, probably devices on the same local network. I'm not too sure. Maybe under connected databases? I'm not too sure. Maybe this will only work for your own computer. Anyways, now that it's linked, it's basically set up properly. So I'll simply allow access to this plugin in incognito, head back to the incognito tab, give it a refresh, log in in the top right, and upon doing so, a window will open on your computer here. Inside of here, we can choose which accounts we'd like to allow our browser to log into. For now, I'll remember and allow all of them. Then I'll click the key icon and we can choose for an account. I'll choose one here, log in, and as simple as that, we'll ask for my authenticated code, which I can enter, and I'll have access to my account. If you do decide to set up TOTP, the process of logging in gets even simpler. For this example, I'll log into Discord where I've already added TOTP for my alt account. I'll click Login in the top right, and of course I can autofill my username and password. So I'll fill credentials, I'll pick the account, and after doing so, I'll click Login. Now usually, after confirming you're a human, you'll need to reach for your phone to get your two-factor code. But if you click these dots over here, it'll automatically fill in the latest code from your authenticator app, or rather the app itself. After clicking login, you'll get dumped into the main screen of Discord, where you'd normally be able to use it. Then I'll get to adding that in another video, as it can get pretty advanced. Not every website you go to will show you exactly what the code behind the QR code they're showing you is, so there's a couple of extra steps we have to follow there. This video was just setting up browser integration with KeyPass XC. If you'd like to see how to actually use and install KeyPass XC, check the description down below. If you'd like to see how to get it to link with a mobile device, and use KeyPass on your Android phone. And on top of that, sync the database file between your PC and your phone. Check the description down below. In the future, when I get to it, I'll probably make a video talking about syncing KeyPass between different computers, also using SyncThing. It's incredibly simple, and it's actually a really cool tool. But anyways, you've made it to the end of this quick video. There are other, much longer videos that go into much more detail on the different topics that I mentioned. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.